talking about Keefe D, the uh, Vlad TV interview sensation, who not too long ago came out and started self-snitching and telling us that he was part and parcel to the murder of Tupac. All right, what up, what up, though? This is your boy, the big ugly man, dog. And you're looking at my non-humble opinion. Absolutely. Man, so today we're going to get right into it. We've got the Simpsons. Apparently the woke mob has finally attacked it. I mean, they probably attacked it before, but I'm sure this is probably one of the biggest, you know, notable stories that I've heard about recently where they uh, have Homer Simpson who's decided that he's no longer going to choke his son Bart, you know, in a disciplinary sense. He used to, he's been choking him and roping him up since I was a kid, but you know, they finally got to him. Check this out. Oh, that's quite a grip. See, Mark, strangling the boy is paid off. I don't do that anymore. Times have changed. What? Times have changed? I don't know if they changed that much. You know how Bart be tripping. You might don't have to choke him around the neck one more time for just for old times sake. But anyway, I do understand that if you have some idiots who may watch the show and actually choke their children, but I think everybody is smart enough to know that's not the way to go. Unless they really, really trip it. And then you might gotta, you know what I'm saying? But aside from all of that, I think it's a bit ridiculous that Homer is no longer gonna choke his son. I mean, what's next, you know? Already heard they've uh, adjusted the character uh, Apu because it might have been offensive to some. And we know this is just another attack on the idea of things being funny despite whether you agree with it or not. I think that if you're gonna to try to make everything, you know, inclusive and non-offensive, things just ain't gonna be funny no more. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, chalk that up as another attack from those who are offended by everything. And I do mean everything. But on to the next topic. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, look, I'm not going to pretend that we found the secret of the ooze here. But all I know is if they don't confess that we have found Ninja Turtles up under the sewer in New York City, I'm going to be very upset, highly upset. I, I, I never thought I'd see the day. I never thought it would come. But that green ooze is letting me know one or two things. We need to either call Master Splinter or the Ghostbusters because whatever that is coming up out the sewer, you got to have some sort of uh, ectoplasmic uh, mutated energy or something like that. I may go dip myself into it or something because I want to know what type of powers I'm going to get because most superhero activity seems to take place in New York and I just know I need to get down there and get me a little bit of it. You feel me? I ain't even gonna get into what the truth probably is. I mean, it looks like antifreeze. I really don't care. But I'm gonna tell you this. The lie is far more entertaining. Mutant Ninja Turtles is on the way. Either that or who you're gonna call. But it's green, so we know what it is. The next topic I wanna get into is a bit more serious, but way more serious as a matter of fact. We're talking about Keefe D, the uh, Vlad TV interview sensation, who not too long ago came out and started self-snitching and telling us that he was part and parcel to the murder of Tupac. I don't know, but apparently he didn't know there was no statute of limitations on murder, murder. Apparently he thought he had immunity because he was dealing with some things in LA or you know, somewhere out there in Cali. But apparently, now that he knows better, Las Vegas can still prosecute you due to all of the confessing that he's been doing. Now, I recently heard that outside of the interviews, he wrote a book which details the murder in great detail. From the time they, you know, got into the altercation with Orlando to when they went and grabbed their guns and drove around looking for them, waited for them in the parking garage sort of situation there until they ran around the city and spotted him and decided, okay, time to take him out. And they went ahead and pop, pop, pop the car up. So he gave all of the details. And now that he's been indicted, he is now pleading not guilty, what which I do understand. Because, I mean, you got to fight for your life. You got to fight for your life. But my guy, it sounds to me like you, you were clout chasing and now the clout is chasing you because they are on your ass, my G. 
Rest in peace to Tupac. It seems now that the case is finally going to be solved and there's going to be some sort of justice in this case after 27 years. It's been almost three decades and we finally have an answer to who killed Tupac. Now, what do you guys think of that? That is the end of this episode here. I appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you like comment share and subscribe on your way out if you didn't do it on the way in it'd be much appreciated and uh you know there it is in my non-humble opinion that was a good show gotta go